so we got it. Got to start planning. This is kind of a follow up to the last ones we did. We went from meet Steve, meet Samantha, and meet Gary to remember Steve, remember Samantha, and remember Gary. The Steve spot, people really love that spot between the voiceover and just that, how the actor played that out. Then Steve rear-ended a pickup truck and didn't have enough coverage for all the damage he caused. Steve's now spending money he doesn't have. Now Steve's sad. Do you want to be Steve? I've learned to take my car insurance more seriously. So that's where we came up with the idea where it's like, like, you know, it's like, remember this guy? So I am ready when you guys are. All right, go for it. Steve, I love working with you. You're really a pleasure. Okay, I'll catch you within uh, 15 minutes. All right, excellent. Thanks so much, Steve. Bye, man. Bye. Bye. When it's time to take your homeowner's insurance seriously, it's time for Marshall and Sterling. So we just made some reference voiceovers for this commercial that we're making for Marshall and Sterling. Uh, it's just so that we can, when we're shooting it, we can play it back so that the actor knows what to react to and what to, when to smile and when to talk. Um, so right now we're playing with timing and seeing how how it fits in the 30 seconds that we have allotted for TV uh, And one of them is a little rushed So we're gonna see if we need to cut a line out or if we can just make it happen This production Which is going to be three commercials that are each 30 seconds actually took about a year and a half to plan, to produce, and to execute. That starts from concepts so meeting with the client, pitching ideas, having them say, you know, this works, this doesn't, rewriting scripts, pitching them again. So once the concept was approved, we had maybe two or three months to plan everything out. So the more time you have in pre-production to plan, to say, like, this disaster plan has this solution, this one has this solution, uh, it just calls for a smoother shoot. We do the casting, so that is maybe a month before the shoot itself. For crew, you usually go with who you trust. That's just the surefire way to have a smooth shoot is using who you trust so that us as the producers aren't worrying about micromanaging everything. We're going to start with our DP, which DP stands for Director of Photography. His name is Chris Scarfile. Dude, it's awesome. You know you ended early. Kind of yeah. also doing some of these just to make sure we yeah. have some safeties because sure. some of those are totally usable. Just on the couldn't have, the spending money on a car he yeah. couldn't drive, just give me a, okay. like, couldn't drive it. Couldn't for no. okay. for yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah. just, uh, just a head shake on now, everything else. So for this shoot, we decided to use the Sony FS7, which is a very high-end professional made for TV and broadcast camera. You know, if you have to like, <laughs> if you feel like it's uncomfortable because you're yes. staring at the 30 yes. seconds, you know, like when you hear about the kitchen fire, you mm -hmm. know, you can close your eyes for a moment. Ah, uh, okay, If that Great. helps. But I, I want your eyes to be down the barrel the whole time. Okay. There's a lot for us to think about, and there's a lot of things that need to be specified. What was great about this job is that we have a dear friend of ours who has a truck in New York City, and that truck has everything that you need on it, the lights, the stands, the cable cords. So when it came to finding the right equipment, it was easy, because we just called up Grand Street Media. And we kind of just rented their, their gear truck for the day. We said we need a truck and what we needed, and that truck was there on set the day of. How would you feel if I gave you a million dollars right now, Courtney? Absolutely happy. I want you to be happy. Cheese it. <laughs> okay? Don't be afraid to smile. You got, you got a great smile. Come on, man. You got a great smile. This was, now I can say it since the day's over. Today was yeah. one of the more easier shoots. Now you can say it. Now I can say it, yeah. Three setups. Took 10 hours with a great crew. Everything looked great. You know it's great when the client just like signs off on everything. Yeah, happy client means we'll be back. It was a standard start. Everything was on time. We were kind of running early, ran a little behind, caught up, and now it's 3.57. And mm -hmm. that's kind of when we planned on ending anyway, so. Now I take my homeowner's insurance more seriously. Now I take my car insurance more seriously. Now I take business insurance more seriously. If you're running a business, be like Gary. If you're driving a car you love, be like Steve. If you're in your dream home, be like Samantha. When it's time to take your homeowner's insurance seriously, it's time for Marshall and Sterling.